hello everyone in this video we are going to learn how to georeference a downloaded image suppose we want to georeference the image of Dhaka city so simply we are going to download a map of Dhaka city from Google Chrome let's search it on Google You can choose any of the maps you want as we are going to digitize the map afterwards in the next video I'm going to choose this one and we will save this as JPG or PNG format I have already saved it now we will be needing some points with the latitude and longitude in the downloaded image for that we have to open word document and drag our downloaded image here we can see that the map contains latitude and longitude we will try to identify some intersecting points of this given latitude and longitudes for this we are going to insert a line shape and we will connect one side of a given latitude to another side you can choose any of the latitude you want I've taken one line Now I'm going to take another line I'm zooming it to get as much as correct as I can these lines are the longitudinal lines now I'm going to also insert some two lines from the latitude if I take two lines along the latitude and two lines along the longitude there will be four intersecting points and these four intersecting points will be needed for us to georeference it afterwards in ArcGIS. I have taken one line and now I'm taking another one. okay I'm done with taking the lines now we can see these four intersecting points and you are acknowledging or realizing that actually these are these four points do have the latitude and longitudes we know the lat latitude and longitudes of these four points 
to get the latitude and longitudes of these four points actually we did do uh, uh, drag these lines here and now we are going to just name this points as one two three four so i'm uh, getting a text box and uh, wrapping it in front of text so that i can uh, drag the text box anywhere of the image i want Okay, as we can see that this is not a transparent text box so I am just giving it trying to give it no fill so that I can make it totally make the text box transfer transparent now it has become transparent you can see I will also remove the outline of the text box now simply I have uh, named it this point as point one and I will simply copy this text box clicking control typing control plus C together and then I will type control V to paste it just here and now I'm dragging the copied text box and renaming renaming it as 2 then I will take another point now that's why I just have clicked on control C then I have uh, I have typed control V to copy and paste So I have taken four points one by one now I have to save the whole image along with these points and the line for that I have uh, uh, typed control A to select all of them and now I have a uh, paste one I, I have copied it and pasted it as a spatial format and from this I have taken the JPEG format to uh, change the whole uh, transform the whole um, image with the lines and point to and a single image now I am simply saving this image with the points and the intersecting lines simply I am saving the new image in jpg format naming it dhaka city image now i will be needing the latitude and la longitudes of these four points written in an excel sheet so i have taken an excel sheet i have renamed it at, as gcp GCP means ground control points so I have taken four points in my image and simply I'm going to insert the latitude and longitudes of the points in this Excel sheet I have created a column naming points then I have created a column named X or latitude in degree then x or latitude in minute and I'm taking another column which will have the heading named x or latitude in decimal degrees Likewise, I will create 
three similar columns for the longitude degree minute and decimal degree of longitude okay I have finished giving the headings now I will search for this coordinates simply we can see that for control point one I mean the point one the latitude of point one we can see here is 90 degree 22 minutes so I am typing 90 and 22 minutes then let's see for point 2 for point 2 the latitude is 90 degrees and 28 minutes now we will t uh, type for point 3 for point 3 it's also 90 degree 22 minutes and for point 4 it is also 90 degree 28 minute now we will convert this degree and minute latitude into decimal degrees I mean simply we will convert the whole latitude into just degrees for that simply I am dividing the minute by 60 and adding adding it with the degrees so simply I am uh, dragging the result so the result for the other three points are automatically generated now I will search for the longitude for point one and we can see that it is 23 degree 50 minutes I have typed it for point two it is also 23 degree 50 minute and for point three and four it is 23 degree 42 minutes okay now I will also calculate this longitudinal values into decimal degrees or just degrees I will divide the minute by 60 and add it with the degree value I will drag it to get the longitude of the other points automatically now after completing it uh, we have to do a very important thing we are going to save this Excel file as a dot XLS extension we can see that our Excel file is in, is now in XLX XLSX format we have to convert it into dot XLS format it is the Microsoft Excel 5.0 by 95 workbook we have to convert it into this format okay it is a very important part because ArcGIS can recognize or get tables excel tables from this format only actually so we will save it as a dot xls excel sheet now we will open ArcGIS and connect the folder where we have saved our image of Dhaka city map we will take our image of Dhaka city map with the control points we can see after dragging it it is giving us a warning uh, from this warning we can understand the that the image doesn't have a special reference or it is not georeferenced now so to we are going to georeference it for that we are going to file and 
from file we will go to add data and from add data we will go to add xy data here we will input the xls points that we have just created actually we have to double click it and then we will get the we have to double click on this dot uh, xls file and then we can get the sheet one where we have typed our uh, latitude and longitude now we are giving our x field as the x decimal degrees and y field as the y decimal degrees and from here we actually have to edit the coordinate system and we have to give it wgs 1984 you can also get this coordinate system by searching from here and we will get we will type ok and that's not a problem we will click ok now if we type uh, with if we click zoom to layer we can see that the points are here we can change the symbology of the four points these are the points of which we have uh, given uh, the latitude and longitudes in the excel file from georeferencing toolbox we will type fit to display as we are going to now georeference the points and from georeferencing toolbox we will now type at control points and we will now click on the point one intersecting line then we will click on the nearest vector layer point that we have just dragged here from our excel sheet now we will click on point two of the image then we will click the nearer point so these are getting overlapped with each other and our image is getting georeferenced we will click on point 3 and then click on the nearer point and we can uh, we will see that the last point we will will be automatically be overlapped with it nevertheless we will also uh, click on it by zoomed in zoomed it in and then click on the vector point now we, from georeferencing we are typing rectify to uh, save our georeferenced image from here we will uh, add our workplace or where which folder we want to save the save our file and simply you can rename the file You can give it any name you you want sometimes it uh, doesn't take long names so I'm simply reducing the name and our refer georeferenced image will be saved in tip format okay we can see that our uh, operation is completed here is our output we can see let's remove these things and take the georeferenced image you can see that there this is giving no warning so we can assume that the image is already georeferenced and from the pro properties we can also see that the image is correctly projected and georeferenced now it is uh, it uh, we can use it for digitization.